In this video, we will continue with equations involving absolute values. You will find this on page 367 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Solve the following equations. Okay, now there's the absolute value part and then it's plus 3 equals 8. Now, if you get, this is very important, to solve an absolute value equation, first isolate the absolute value on one side of the equal sign. So take that positive 3 over and then simplify it because it becomes negative 3. And now you take the positive and the negative and you get your two answers and then you're just going to check to see if both, sol both solutions will be correct and both will be correct. Okay. So you must get that this side is equal to this side. And now this one, the same here. First take the positive 8 over. Okay, and now if, I, if it's positive 8, then it becomes negative. And then don't forget, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. And now you can take the positive option and the negative. And again, you can check your solutions. Okay, let's take it to this exercise. I want you to stop the video and I think let's give you A, very simple, and then we can give you one that's a bit more complicated. Uh, I think let's do the first and the last one. Yes, that's the two. And then again, as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Let's start. Number A. It's going to be X plus 6 minus 3 is equal to 6. So x plus 6, now just take it over, so it's actually, okay, not necessary to write that, but that's what it's going to be. That's, you can directly go to the 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, not necessary to write that first down. And now you get your two positive options. So don't write, write your bars anymore, so say, x plus 6 is equal to the positive side or x plus 6 can also be to the negative side. Okay, and now I get so therefore x is 9 minus 6 and that's 3 or x is negative 9, negative 6 and that's negative 50. And then I'm just going to do the check first for you. Okay, just substitute it in, your original one, so you don't have to uh, take anything, so it's 3 plus 6 minus 3, and see if it's equal to 6. So 6, 7, this is going to be 9, and it's positive, so minus 3, 6, so 6 equals 6, so it is correct. And then if I just do the check for the other one, just because I did it just orally in the previous examples, I'm doing it now in writing. So then it's going to, I take my original inequality equation, uh, um, absolute value equation, and then I put negative 15 plus 6 minus 3 equal to 6. Okay, and then now I'm going to get negative 9, but don't forget what we did in the first two videos. This negative becomes positive. And then 6 is equal to 6. So this will then also be correct. And that is your number A. Let's do number F. Okay, number F, let's copy it first. Negative 6. Then it's 2x minus 14 minus 20 is equal to negative 42. So, it's going to be, okay, and I'm going to write it just, the blue is not standing out so nicely. Okay, so it's going to be negative 6. Um, okay, I'm doing a little bit long, not necessary. And now it's negative 42 plus 20. So, now I divide, so 2x minus 14. Do you see? Okay, there was the plus. So this would have been 
a negative 22. And then I'm going to divide by that negative 6. Negative 6, negative 6. So I will get 2. And now it's a fraction. Don't worry if it's a fraction. So it's positive. And 6 can go in 3 times, do you agree? And 2 thirds. Well, you can leave it like that. And then now, this is why I gave you the fraction also. So your two options will be, it's either to the negative side, or to the positive side. Okay, usually I write the positive first. I think in the previous ones. And then I just solve it, so I 2x, and again use your calculator. Okay, let's just, before I come to the calculator, okay, let's just go and add 14, and then I divide by 2. And then if I use my calculator, I can say 3, ABC, 2, ABC, 3, plus 14, equals, divide 2, equals, and it's going to be 8 and 5 over 6. So, therefore, x is 8 and 5 over 6. Or, and now remember, this one is going to be 2x, negative 3 and 2 thirds, plus 14, delicious, yeah. And I divide by 2, and I divide by 2. So, it's actually, it's, it's just that first sign. So, it's negative. 3 ABC to ABC. I'm just showing you how I'm pressing it. 3 plus 14 equals, remember your equals, otherwise you have to put brackets, divide 2. Otherwise it will divide that 2 and subtract that one. And this one is going to be 5 and 1 over 6. And again, if I substitute it in there, now this is going to be a bit... Mm, let's just keep my original. Okay, let's just go for the check. So it's negative 6, and then it's 2. Oh, let's just get the pen correct. And it's 2, and it's 8, 5 over 6, minus 14. Oh, okay, minus, no, no, I want to really take the original. So it, it was minus 20 then. Work in your original. So minus 20 and see if you get negative 42. So go and press uh, 2 multiply. First press the inside. 2 multiply 8. ABC 5. ABC 6 equals minus 14 equals. I get the positive already. I multiply multiply negative 6 equals and then uh, minus 20 equals and it's going to be correct and for your next check and now I'm going to cheat a little bit for your next check you're just going to I'm just going to for the video sake just substituting now so the first one was correct now I'm substituting 5 and 1 over 6. So let's just press it on the calculator again. You can just press it there from the top and this just check. They don't worry to see the check. So we're going to say it's 2 multiply 5 ABC 1 ABC 6 equals minus 14 equals and now it's a negative so you make it a positive so otherwise multiply it with negative one so that it becomes positive so multiply negative six equals minus 20 equals and i'm also getting negative 42 so that's also correct so i just end up both x equal eight Five over six, or x equals five. One over six will be solution. Something like that. Okay. Otherwise, just end there, and that's how you do it.